this crypto mic here with the mic check one two one two is this thing on all right guys so i just wanted to make this this uh little video real quick um on casper caspa not casper sorry caspa i always confuse those two um because i don't own any caspa however i have a lot of friends out there in the crypto space who do own caspa and it's come to my attention just recently that it's been pumping pretty hard and congratulations if you're in caspa you probably made quite a made a pretty penny lately uh, so congrats to you guys and to the community um well i don't have any but i am interested in this um this kind of like conspiracy theory that i'm starting to see one of my friends just um posted it in the telegram and i'm like okay well i'm always interested in trying to find out who satoshi nakamoto is but it's come to my attention that uh, there's, a, there's a few people out there who think that the uh, founder of Caspa could be Satoshi Nakamoto. So there is this thread on Twitter that I'm going to go over. I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm going to read it out loud um, in the video. And my, my, my reaction will be authentic because I haven't even read it yet. But my friend did send this to me in the, in the Telegram. So I'm going to check this out. I know a lot of you guys hold Caspa, and I know a lot of you guys are interested in finding out who Satoshi Nakamoto is, so it's just worth a look, you know? It, it might not be true, but why not check it out, you know? I, I personally think it's Sergei Natsarov and, and co, or friends, him and a few of his buddies, you know, but who knows? I mean, I really don't know. I just, I have an opinion, but I don't know for sure. So let's check this out. This is Yonatan Somplaninsky, the Casper founder, the Caspa founder. Um, so let me just read this thread to you guys. This is by Crypto Phoenix. The handle is at Phoenix underscore gems 47. I'll post this in the description so you can read along and you can go and check it out. So I just had to create this thread. Is Cas founder? Yonatan Somplaninsky will abbreviate with YS. Satoshi Nakamoto will abbreviate with SN. Personally, I'm biased, but let's have a look at the clues supporting this bold claim. A thread. And this thread was written in November of 2022, uh, almost a year ago. A real imposter? YS profile shows he's a real imposter. What does he mean with that? Imposters often impersonate people. Did he pretend to be someone else some time ago? Perhaps a certain Satoshi Nakamoto? Yonatan Somplaninsky. On his Twitter bio it says, a real imposter. What a timing. So, Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared from Bitcoin Talk Forum on December 13th, 2010. Yonatan joined Twitter in December of 2010. What if Satoshi Nakamoto didn't want anyone to connect with him or to connect him with Bitcoin in the future as he thought it's the best for BTC and gave up on his alter ego? So he left the forum and decided from now on to be active on social media under his real name on a new exciting platform called, called Twitter. Yeah, back then it was new. <laughs> that was 13 years ago. Wow. And then it shows you another tweet here. Amazing, Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared in December 2010 and Yonatan Somplaniski joined Twitter in December 2010. Well, okay, that's a pretty good coincidence right there. But it's not enough. Let's keep going and see what else there is. Because I'm not convinced. But I want to I wanna see if I can be convinced. Because I, I, I desperately, honestly, I desperately want to know who Satoshi Nakamoto is. My The first video that I ever did that actually blew up was about Satoshi Nakamoto. And I thought back then, I thought David Schwartz was him. Um, I don't think that nowadays, but it still could be true, you never know. There's just a lot of people out there who, who it could be. Okay, continuing with the thread here. He was there at crypto's inception. When your work is mentioned in the ETH Ethereum white paper as a possible basis to build a network on this, on this means that Yonatan was already busy with creating these concepts when Bitcoin was born. He's one of crypto's gigabrains. 
Oh, so I guess what well, his one of his papers on Ghost Protocol was cited in the Ethereum white paper. Now that is pretty. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. So he has been around. Um, so that gives a gives a little more credence to the theory. Um, I mean, the ETH white paper is you know quite a document. It's quite you know it's a monumental document. Okay, let's go back. An improved Nakamoto consensus. Yonatan spent years researching following consensus in an academic way. Caspa implements his research work. All of these are massive improvements to the original Bitcoin consensus. In order to improve the Nakamoto consensus in such a way as Cas did, K-A-S, Caspa, you need to have a deep understanding of the consensus mechanism and also of the Nakamoto consensus itself. Yonatan had this to such extent, one might wonder if he had invented also the original consensus himself. Hmm. Oh, and then you have a 777 right there. Hmm. Interesting. If you think this is trivial stuff, you might rethink your opinion when you inspect some of Cass's white paper. So I haven't looked at that, but maybe it'll be worth a look. So what if Yonatan achievement lifetime timeline starts with Bitcoin and then continues with iterative improvements on Bitcoin consensus over the following years, reaching its perfect perfectness, perfectedness in Caspa Dag Knight consensus. Wouldn't it make sense? What if this is how it unfolded? Yonatan was the brain behind behind the 2008 Nakamoto consensus, 2015 Ghost, 2016 Spectre, 2018 Phantom, 2021 Phantom Ghost Dag, and 2022 Dag Knight, starting with a revolution that he improved step by step over the years. Make Satoshi Great Again. So, Yonatan aims to make Satoshi Nakamoto great again, but why is he so eager to use the Nakamoto consensus as basis? Is he such a Satoshi Nakamoto fanboy? Or did did from his view did he from his view unfinished uh, from the did the from, okay he he didn't word this very well um, or did the from his view unfinished work on the Nakamoto consensus not allow him to let go okay <laughs> Cass aims to make Satoshi great again all right so anagram Yonatan Samplaninsky is the closest anagram for Satoshi Nakamoto interesting. I just want to show you something real quick. Um, I just went back and took this. This is from a uh, crypto viewing. Name was an anagram, an inside joke. That if you took the and this somebody can do this, feed Satoshi Nakamoto into an anagram machine and see what comes out. That's an interesting exercise. All right. You had three to four people. I initially saw in my work people that were connected through time, through time and information. Information goes through different people and then expands outward. Graham's probes for low level. Uh okay, so I just want to show you that real quick. That was Crypto Viewing with Dick Algar. Um, I used to watch him all the time, and then I just went back... And it looks like uh, YouTube unsubscribed me from him. And so I hate when they do that because it, it makes me realize, like, yeah, they do it to my subscribers all the time. Because um, people all the time, they come and tell me, Mike, I, like, I was unsubscribed from you, but I never did, I never did it. I never unsubscribed. And same thing with the uh, notification. They said, do your notif notifications aren't showing up? Well, YouTube, like, selectively does that to certain channels that they don't like. So definitely make sure and subscribe make sure you're subscribed to me because they they unsubscribe people all the time i see it in my numbers like every video i do they take away like five or ten subscribers for me it sucks <laughs> so um all right anagram yonatan samplaninsky is the closest anagram for satoshi nakamoto so this tweet says, is this a coincidence? The name of Caspa's founder, Yonatan Samplaninsky, is the closest anagram for Satoshi Nakamoto. Yonatan Samplaninsky, Ani Satoshi Nakamoto. And if you pronounce Ani in English, it will sound like something something in Hebrew. Something something means I am in Hebrew. Oh, I am Satoshi. Okay.
I'm gonna see what let's see what this thing says here. Nick, because a lot of people think Nick Shabo is Satoshi. Um, so this is a conversation between a few different uh, developers. It looks like Nick Shabo says, "If you're a technical and want to dive into the engineering and the technology of it, the Bitcoin white paper is still by far the best place to start." And Vic Vitalik Buterin and this Ethereum white paper also. What was that name again? Vitalik Buterin. He's a developer on Ethereum. He's actually an interesting guy. A young prodigy, probably 20 or 21 now. He started it when he was 18. There's a guy named Aviv Azohar who has written some great papers. One of them is on Ghost, which is what Ethereum is based on. He's got a follow-up on, on that whose name escapes me. He's also co-authored a great paper on attacks against Bitcoin from the underlying network. So he's one of the experts of the, on the security of Bitcoin, which is a skill and knowledge set in scarce supply. So I'm assuming they're talking about Yonatan Samplanesky. Okay, let's move on here. The Dagnite white paper was released exactly 14 years to the day after the Bitcoin white paper. <clears throat> In 2018, Satoshi's account was being, it was used one last time to only send the word nower, which means as much as bring from darkness to light. Hmm, 2018, huh? Wasn't, that was the year on the Economist cover. Uh, Phantom White Paper was published in 2018 as well. Did he bring Bitcoin from darkness to light with Phantom? Caspa? <clears throat> Yonatan and Satoshi have the same birthday. Well, that's cool. I mean, he could be lying, but, you know, I'm sure people have dug into it and made sure he's not lying. Crypto OGs think that he could be Natoshi, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. There were lots of rumors in the past already about who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Actually, I'm not the first one thinking he might be Satoshi. And back then you had uh, that Aziz guy, he's saying, the closest person to really being Satoshi are either Adam Beck, Peter Todd, Charlie Lee, Johannes Meyer, Yonatan Samplemensky, or all of them. I think it would be a group of people, not just one. All interesting and useful research. Spent some time talking with Yonatan at, at Satoshi Roundtable about that. Okay, and the next part of the thread, if Satoshi were a Bitcoin maximalist, he would not have open sourced Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, true. <clears throat> Satoshi was a disruptor. He, she, they would be on to the next product by now. In my opinion, building another open source sidechain altcoin, continuing the mission in a different way. Mm, okay. His personality fits with the one of Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, I did watch a little part of an interview with him, and he, he really comes off as very highly intelligent, um, and he very, he very carefully selects his words. Um, so right off the bat, I did see, I was like, okay, wow, this guy's, he, he, he acts like I would imagine Satoshi acts like very humble. Um, really like someone who really wants to change the world in a very beneficial way for humanity. Um, that's just my impression, but I didn't watch the full interview and it was just one interview. So I'll have to look into that a little more. Yonatan is a very likable, humble human being in interviews. He's not the type of human who wants to be in the spotlight, but he is a creator of things. He estimates a value for human mankind, just like Satoshi, who never made himself public. Another coin. Y Yonatan said in Cas AMA, Caspa AMA the following. Check out at 20 minutes, 45 seconds. I'm not taking it lightly to build another coin. Uh, we can watch this and see how long is it. Boom, and I'm live. Boy, is that is that kind well, of? It started with mathematic, mathematical pursuit, and the importance of community comes in. I, I, I wasn't very comfortable with you know, pushing, you know, selling coins. We didn't do any ICO. We didn't do any pre-mine, among other reasons. For that reason, it's it needs to be a community project, not so much for the ideology, but more. This need, this is the way to justify uh, that the project sort of there's a feedback loop and justifies itself rather than an organizational corporation or a centralized, you know, marketing team just um, inventing a new, a new, um, 
you know store of value and or medium exchange and starts starts promoting it this this is you know an empty air so this was the kind of considerations we took when we did a fair launch and when we kind of let the community develop organically I like how- well that's exactly how Bitcoin uh, was uh, became popular it just grew very organically as far as I know okay so next thing and next one in the thread is this could have two meanings one B he referred to another coin as already so many coins exist and he wanted to create something meaningful with Caspa and not just another coin or it was a slip of the tongue and he already built a coin before namely Bitcoin hmm you're welcome uh, Jonathan answered this on a thread he wasn't even directly addressed so on the thread and it's just like a few years ago uh, someone said thank you Satoshi whoever you are and then Jonathan said you are welcome now he could be trolling that's for sure like there's a lot of trolls out there who claim to be Satoshi or or, or, or maybe not even claiming but are kind of like giving off the impression that they're Satoshi just because it's probably fun for them you know I mean it probably make, gives them a big head like anyone who a group of people think that that he's Satoshi I mean that's a, a major compliment so you know, you could see how you know like David Schwartz but I would if I was David Schwartz I would have a pretty big head you know and I would troll my audience in a fun way you know and that's what he does so like anyone who's being claimed as Satoshi I'm sure it'd be hard not to let that get to your head you know um, so he could be trolling this could be a response to people claiming he might be Satoshi or maybe I don't maybe he just slipped up one day and he said screw it you know I'm just gonna give him a, a, a big clue you know maybe he was maybe he had a couple drinks who knows so or he could be trolling you know who knows um, I'm alive in 2021 Jonathan wrote this reply to someone mentioning Satoshi being dead could Satoshi have lost his private key to his bitcoins I'd rather think he's lost his key on purpose um, and this tweet back in 2021 Alex Van de Sand said 1 million bitcoins never moved sorry I believe in principle over money I'm not naive to think 30 to 40 billion dollars wouldn't bulge any person or group Satoshi isn't waiting for privacy tech to improve. He isn't holding for the right moment. Satoshi's been dead for many years. And then Yonatan replied, I'm alive, I just lost my private key. Again, he could be trolling. He could easily be trolling. Um, And that would, this whole rumor that he might be Satoshi could build and build. And this conspiracy theory, it could definitely boost the price of Caspa and get more. It It would get more eyes on Caspa. So that could be a sort of marketing ploy if if it is, you know, if he is trolling, that would definitely be um, beneficial for his project, Caspa. And as we can see, I just want to, I do want to show you real quick that this chart, the Caspa chart has been going nuts um, the last year. Hold on, let's see. Is this it? Yeah. Look at that. It's up, basically up only. Look, and it's just been blowing up this whole year. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, congrats. Congrats if you're in it. Congrats if you got in early, because you've been making decent gains on this. And from the looks of it, it's not stopping. But now I would be careful getting in now. Um, This is kind of a risky place to get in, as it's creating all-time high after all-time high. But it just doesn't seem to be stopping. Um, but now that I've heard of it, now that it's been talked about in a lot of YouTube videos lately, like I said, it, it, you know, I wouldn't go all in, that's for sure. You know, maybe down, maybe down here at support, you know, maybe over here, maybe down here, maybe down here I would have gone all in if I knew about it. I wish I did. I didn't know about it. Um, but yeah, it was, it built a nice little support here, a double bottom. I, I, you know, if I had a lot of faith in it, I would have got in back in June, just just two months ago. I would have got in, you know. But right now, it's it's kind of risky. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of profit taking, so I'd be careful. But it does. It's a basically it's a parabolic curve 
Um, like I said, though, if, if you were to want to get in, I would probably, if it was me, I would probably wait for a dip. Like a good dip and see how it, how it goes and try to get in around here, you know. But it's, it's really kind of not the best way to, to enter a project um, when it's already on a parabola. Um, you want to like, you really want to make sure that you have good timing because you could lo easily lose your money you know within a few weeks it could just dump hard you know even especially if Bitcoin dumps hard because um, Bitcoin's been doing well this year so Casper had the permission to go up up only so you know I would just be careful with that let's go back to the thread monetary vision Caspa has a Hebrew message in his Genesis block mentioning silver and gold, clearly referring to Caspa and Bitcoin. Yonatan continues Satoshi Nakamoto's mission as if it was his own. Um, and uh, let's see, connection to Zcash. Now that's cool because I've done videos on Zcash too, conspiracy theories on Zcash. Satoshi had close connections with Zcash founder uh, Zuko. Some, some people think he's connected, highly connected to Satoshi, and even um, there's, there's a connection there from Zcash to Ripple. So Satoshi had close connections with Zcash founder, so one would think that Satoshi probably liked the, this project back in time. Well, Yonatan used to drink his coffee out of a Zcash mug, as stated by his inner circle. Interesting. <laughs> um, Bitcoin security audit. Yonatan was the first to publish a security analysis of Bitcoin. He was involved before any other academic papers on Bitcoin were released. His involvement in Bitcoin in the early days is a fact. And here's a screenshot here um, of some kind of discussion uh, in a private group, it looks like, or DM. Yonatan said yesterday that himself and Zohar were involved in Bitcoin just after the paper was released and before they were any academic paper even on it. That's so bullish. Y and Z were the first to publish a reasonable security analysis of Bitcoin. Yeah, it's funny, I never even I've never even heard of him. But now I now I'm hearing about him. Bitcoin is what I entered the space with. Listen to the short part of an interview with Jonathan. The way he tries to correct his words after realizing what he just said, it feels very natural to me. Okay, so let's check that one out. Oh, the quoted post is unavailable. Oh, here, here. Wait. At least I, I do want to beat Bitcoin to the vision, to the implementation of the vision of peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. This was the original, this was the title with with which I entered the space, you know, the, the title of the white paper within, uh, which I read and everyone read at that time, entering the space, and this was the vision. At least I, I do want to beat Bitcoin to the vision, to the implementation of the vision. Okay. <laughs> okay, similar writing style. Check the writing style of Yonatan and Satoshi. Especially the usage of punctuation is interesting. And it gives you some examples. Um, if you're watching, you can look it. Otherwise, don't worry about it. So we'll go, let's move on. <clears throat> the strong similarities on this, I don't have time quote. Let's see what, is, what this is all about. You, Jonathan um, tweeted this, or it was a, a reply to Breton the Woods. If you don't get it, I don't have time to explain it to you. If you don't believe it or don't get it, I don't have the time to try to convince you. Sorry. That was the, the words of Satoshi Nakamoto. Very important man. Similar writing style. Strong similarities on this I don't have time quote. Oh, is that the... Let's see. Okay. Is that the end of it? 
Okay, um, well, it looks like that was the end of the thread. Let me just make sure here. Let's see, the thread here. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so this is th that. Looks like that was the end of it. So that that is a lot of, you know, that's a pretty good thread right there. Yeah, that was the end of it. And he says, why do I suddenly have the feeling this thread could escalate in every way possible? I mean, what the F? Yeah, well, you know, that's what I was saying. Like, something, some kind of, like, rumor or conspiracy theory like this would definitely escalate the attention on the Caspa blockchain. Um, like I said before, I, I definitely regret not knowing about it earlier. Um, I mean, I heard about it here and there but you know I didn't really hear much about it I just I just saw the word I saw the project on you know coin gecko trending once in a while um, turns out some of my friends were in it and I, I just didn't really ask them about it so congrats congrats to you guys the Caspa community you guys have been doing very well um, and so this is just kind of like food for thought you know maybe maybe Yonatan Samplaninsky the creator of Caspa is Satoshi and it, it, it certainly seems that he's not hiding from that he's not denying it that's for sure and it's actually more of the other direction he's kind of saying I am but he seems like he humbly is saying that so who knows man who maybe he lost his private key maybe you know he is Satoshi and he had a million Bitcoin on his you know wallet I don't know if it's a paper wallet or what but looks like he lost his private key you know so what is a million bitcoin by the way let's go to coin gecko real quick let's just and that'll be the end of this video i just want to see what is the end of let me see <clears throat> what is the value of a million bitcoin right now Coin gecko. <clears throat> let's go to bitcoin and type in one million okay so that would be 28 billion dollars 983 million 30,000 so basically 29 billion dollars so if Yonatan Samplanensky is Satoshi, he literally lost $29 billion worth of Bitcoin, <laughs> if he's telling the truth. So anyways, I'll just leave you with that, I guess. Um, if you found this helpful or fun or uh, entertaining or educational or any of that, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe uh, and let me know if you, if you like these kind of conspiracy videos. Let me know in the comments section. Just tell me that you want more of them, and I'll, I'll keep doing them. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking. Thanks for staying tuned, and uh, I'll, I'll be back. I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Crypto Mike out. Peace.